Hello and welcome to the Mobus Archives. This is your host, Mobus Rex, and we are playing Let It End. Alright. Well, I really enjoy these wings. They really help a lot for getting around here. Um, so last time we were talking about getting this auto spawner, and the auto spawner... It's a couple blocks of emeralds, large bloodstone brick. We had a resonant machine frame kicking around. Uh, and we have a redstone conduction cord. It was actually this white plastic b block that uh, caused us a little bit of problems. So, here you see, white plastic block, block is made from HDPE sheets. These HDPE sheets are made from HDPE pellets, which means we have to dive into mechanism. I didn't know what PRC stood for. PRC stood for... which is the, the pressurized reaction chamber. It took me a while to figure that out. We have a few mechanism machines. We have the crusher. We have the electrolytic separator. We have a pressurized reaction chamber. The rotary condensator. And another pressurized reaction chamber. Now, the pressurized reaction chamber is kind of a pain in the ass because you're, if, you, if you accidentally fill it with any one particular gas, um, it will cannot be emptied except through being exhausted. So you'd have to actually use up all the gas in there um, so keep that in mind. The pressurized reaction chamber really is only used to make biofuel into substrate and substrate into HDPE pellets. But do be careful, make sure you get hydrogen in the one you want. Um, first off, you probably could make only one of these systems, but I can't for the life of me figure out how to get hydrogen out of here. Uh, the recipes aren't too bad, so you to make the biofuel, you just put, put rotten flesh in the crusher. Um, this pressurized reaction chamber, you need to be supplied with hydrogen. And I have it coming off this blue side. Doesn't seem to be configurable, but I have it coming out of the blue side of the electrolytic separator. So on the left here, I have the oxygen going out the right here into this other pressurized reaction chamber. So do make sure you have it uh, set up right. These will give us our biofuel. The pressurized reaction chamber, this one in particular, takes liqu liquid water and oxygen with hydrogen pr to produce... Do you not have... You don't have power. You don't have power. Huh. To produce uh, the uh, substrates. Like that. Then we have the exhaust of this. So this makes uh, ethylene. You need to turn that into liquid ethylene. So this ethylene becomes liquid ethylene in the rotary condensator. Now that liquid ethylene is pumped into this PRC with the oxygen it makes these HDPE pellets. And now these HDPE pellets... Let's get away from there for a second. These HDPE pellets make everything we need for white plastic blocks. Just like so. And with all that made up, we just make some of our white plastic blocks. Cool. And we have everything else in here, including some extra white plastic blocks. So let's grab those blocks of emeralds and everything else we need for this machine and just make it up. And there we go. Auto spawner. Now, the guys upstairs have been running for a while. This portable tank is full of essence. Let's grab that. Good. We have that. Now I need to figure out what I did with that, uh... Spawner. Or the, um... This. Safari net. A refusable safari net. And actually, I'm just gonna make a kill chamber back here. Give me a second on that. This turned into a kill chamber of a different type. I had a few too many mobs spawn down here. Put that there. Auto spawner is going to take power. Um, do I have enough cable? I might have to make more of this. No, well, actually, I think we're alright. It's going to take uh, power, and it's going to take uh, the mob essence that I have on me. So we take that, drop that down on there, and make it export into there. And we should have lots of essence, lots of energy building up. And we can spawn exact copy, yes, with the these uh, uh, wither skeletons. 
That should... If I'm not mistaken. Idol's going down. Not enough energy, maybe? Hold on, let me just, uh... Let's plop that up. Let it build up some power. See what we need. Alright, there we go. We're fully powered. And I'm just going to break this line just so we can see how much energy it actually takes up to spawn a single copy of a wither skeleton. And... Energy should start draining. All out. Oh, it takes more than, uh, more than one charge, it appears. I'll let that continue growing and continue triggering off of work. It'll mean the wither skeletons will take a while for them to spawn. Hopefully we have more than enough essence there. That being said, oops. I'll grab the essence bucket um, until we're ready. And just see, oh, it does continue to drain the essence as well. That's interesting. There we go. I decided to add in an extra redstone energy cell since this line apparently wasn't uh, powering us fast enough. Oh, and you're not where I want you to be. Thank you for withering me. All right. Got to keep that in mind. Where you spawn these things is as important as what you spawn. There we go. Huh. Didn't expect that to be up there. That's interesting. You fell to your death. And so this pit might be a bit too deep. Let me, uh, change a few things. All right, we are back, and this isn't enough. I was able to get my bound blade bound first try uh, with a four pole two enchantment, but it doesn't really. This is we have five wither skeleton skulls. That's not nearly enough. It's not as productive as we want. So what we're going to do? I've already made some thomium off camera, and we are just going to make ourselves a new uh, thomium. Uh, cleaver. Call it the head taker. So the nice thing about cleavers is if you take a look, it already has a chance to be head, 20%. So that's pretty good. But we can be better. We can actually provide this with, I think it's obsidian and, uh, and an enderpearl, and that gives us an extra 10% for beheading. And I'm using Thaumium because it gets you a little bit more enchanting, and I'm using a, a paper, uh, um, strong, what is that, paper tool rod, uh, to give us an extra modifier as well. Uh, Thaumium at least makes it strong. This gives us beheading five, beheading six, so beheading six is the max we've got without adding additional modifiers modifiers to this, and so this is a chance to behead 80%. Can we do better? Probably. So we can add an additional modifier with a diamond and a block of gold, not bad. We could also do uh, a notch apple, which is an apple with uh, four blocks of gold around it, I think, and a block of diamonds. We can definitely do the diamond and the uh, block of gold, although I'm surprised I don't have a block of gold here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go. And I'm surprised I don't have a diamond in my inventory, considering I've been walking around with them all this time. I must have used them in some engines or other. I have some in here, because I'll take them with me now. Turn you into a block of gold. And there we go. Add the block of gold, add the diamond, gets us an extra enchant, or an extra modifier, uh, because a Tinker's Construct, it's not an enchant, so that gives us 9% chance to behead. Let's see how well we do against these Wither Skeletons. Go down here. Turn this back on. Thank you. Nice thing about this, I don't have to turn it off afterwards. Uh, the Bound Blade you do, because it'll drain... Uh, life essence, life points from your system. There we go. Enemy Slayer. Interesting. Did we get one? We got ahead. Good. So we should be getting 
more or less nine out of ten heads from these mobs now, which will get us uh, wither skeletons and the subsequent um, wither uh, wither power generators or nether star power generators because we'll need wither skeleton heads for that as well. All right, I'll continue collecting and be right back. Okay, well, long story short, this doesn't work very well. Um, it, I just found a way too slow for the uh, wither skeletons to spawn. Um, so we might use it for spawning other things, possibly villagers, um, or cattle, maybe cattle. Uh, but for now, it's not so great. I pretty much just went back to the nether. Uh, grabbed this handy dandy head taker and uh, grabbed, well, a good stack of wither skeleton skull heads. All right. Um, so, let's see. Who can I repurpose? Yeah, this one. All right, let's clear that out. Um, use while sneaking to a race. We'll go ahead and race that. It's erased. And make this into what was it, Nether Star Generator? Yeah. Nether Star Generator. Just like that. Write that to the schematic. So that means I need to have I only need uh, one of these. Nether Star Generator times eight. So we only really need um eight of those. We have sixteen. Yeah. Because it has four here, that's what I'm counting off of. Oops. So there we go. These 32 we can use to make a uh, wither so that we can actually get the nether star to make sure I have enough arrows. Um, I'm actually going to grab one more of those because my whole idea here, back here, and I spent a lot of resources getting it, um, is to get one thing at the far end of this line. And I spent a lot of resources oops, uh, making that because world interaction upgrades not as cheap as I wanted it to be uh, I have this setup now making um, lapis lazuli automatically so we can make diamonds but I used to have it set, just set up making turning all of these rain plant seeds into lapis um, but basically at the end of this I wanted to have septuple compressed cobblestone I'm one cobblestone away from getting one that's a lot of cobblestone. This has been waiting for hours. I might get one soon, uh, but it's not enough. Basically, I was going to use that to basically entrap the uh, the wither so it can't get out. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. Uh, or rather, it does work. I tried it in creative, but I don't know. Um, getting the cobblestone legitimately, I'd have to spend a few more days here because I'll need probably at least three pieces. So I'm less inclined to do that right now. However, if you pull the Thalmanomicon, one thing that might still work is to use the one focus of warding. So you need another star. So I'm going to get one more wither um, and hopefully make this thing up. We'll see how well it goes. Let me grab, let me put some stuff away and we'll go and fight the nether, the wither in the nether. All right, so we're slightly, uh, a slight bit away from where we originally are. I removed all the blocks I had out here because they were causing mobs to spawn. Um, now it's much safer down here at uh, bedrock level. Um, some of these look like they might just potentially be able to do what I want and help entrap the wither. Like, maybe... Actually, maybe here, even. Actually, maybe here. Um, basically, what I want to do is here, add the heads, and hopefully the wither will be stuck there. Um, don't know how much more I would need to do something like that, but uh, I'm just going to mark this um, as a potential wither trap. There you go. Potential wither trap we will use in this current one. Make sure I turn on the talisman remedium. There we go. And put that, I think it has to be in the next slot, or necklace slot. And, well, here's hoping. One, two, three. It should go after me. It might have trouble getting out of there, which is just what I want. 
And... Ow. Nope. Got right out. Ow. These fights are getting a lot easier. Every time I do them. I'm not flying as hard as I used to. Uh, before I used to fly away all the time. Uh, now... Well, he's not even really doing much to me. Assuming I don't fall. The talisman is actually negating most of the wither effects. You can hear it right now. So all I really do have to do is defeat him. And then find this. Oh. Oh god. Oh, are you broken? Uh. Why'd that sell go over? Huh. Um. Talisman's remedium didn't work as well as I'd hoped. Alright, let's go find these pieces. There we go. Good thing I saw them fall. Alright. Well, next time, I'm going to have a uh, block of warding and hopefully encase that wither um, so we could do it uh, outside. What's that? I want my arrows. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, this has been Mobius Rex from Mobius Archives. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a like, leave us your comments and suggestions. I'll be back with you next time. Have a good day and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.